Okay, here are some example problems dealing with resistors in series. And this first one is pretty simple. We're told that R1 is 6 ohms, R2 is 4 ohms, and R3 is 3 ohms. And we're told that they're connected in series, and we're told to find the total resistance. Well, this is trivial. The total resistance is just R1 plus R2 plus R3. So you just add them up, and you can do that in your head. 6 ohms plus 4 ohms plus 3 ohms is 13 ohms, and that's your answer. In example number two, we're told a 4 ohm, a 5 ohm, and a 6 ohm resistor are connected in series with a 30 volt battery. What is the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor? Well, I'm going to draw a little picture. You don't have to, but I think diagrams always make things a little bit easier because you can picture what's going on a little bit better. Actually, let me move this down some here. So here's my voltage source, and we're told that that's 30 volts. And here's R1. I'll go ahead and write the numbers. 4 ohms, 5 ohms, and 6 ohms. And we're told to find the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor. So we want to know the voltage here. Okay, well, what can we find out from everything that's given? Well, we're given all three resistors here, so we can find the total R. The total R is just going to be 4 ohms plus 5 ohms plus 6 ohms. And you should be able to see that that adds up to 15 ohms. Now if we know the total R and we know the total V, we can find the total current. I is V over R. That's just Ohm's law solved for I. And let's put in those numbers. V is 30 volts and R we just figured out was 15 ohms and that gives us 2 amps for the current. This is Ohm's law applied to the circuit as a whole. This was our total voltage and our total resistance and when we put those numbers in the calculation we get the total current. So that's the I coming out of the battery right there. That's the 2 amps. Now these are in series so we know that those same two amps, all of those electrons flow around here and go through the first resistor and the second and the third. So we know that the current in each resistor is two amps. Because they're in series, the current has to be the same. So I1 is two amps, I2 is two amps, and I3 is two amps. So I'm just going to take note of the fact that I1 is two amps. That's my first current right there. I'm thinking of this as resistor 1 and then resistor 2 and then resistor 3. So I1 is 2 amps. I'm told to find the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor. That would be V1. So V1 is just I1 R1. Now we're applying Ohm's law to one individual piece of the circuit. And I1 is 2 amps and R1 is 4 ohms. So that gives us a total of 8 volts. And that's our answer. Now we're not asked to find the other ones, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just to make a point here. V2 would be I2, R2, and V3 would be I3, R3. And I'm going to go ahead and calculate these just because it's trivial to calculate. I is 2 amps in each case, so 2 amps times the 5 there gives us 10 volts. And 2 amps times the 6 ohms here gives us 12 volts. And just take note that the, the 8 volts and the 10 volts and the 12 volts add up to 30. That's one of the other things we said about resistors in series is that the voltages add up to the total. And sure enough, in this case, we see that they do. Okay, our third example here we're told we have a 20 ohm and a 60 ohm resistor connected in series with a 120 volt power source. And so we'll call R1 there the 20 ohm resistor and R2 the 60 ohm resistor. And then 120 volts there, that's the total voltage. We're told to find the voltage and current in each resistor. Well, what we can find first is the total resistance R. That's just going to be 20 plus 60. which adds up to 80 ohms. Now I can use the total R to find the total current. 
I will be V over R, that's 120 volts, that's given over 80 ohms. That comes out to 1.5 amps. So that's the current coming out of the battery here. That's my total I is 1.5 amps. Now because they're in series, that's the same current that goes through here. I1 is also 1.5 amps and I2 is also 1.5 amps. Because in series, the current has to be the same. Every electron that comes out of the battery also goes through R1 and R2. And I can use those, use that fact to find V1 and V2. V1 will be I1, R1 and V2 will be I2, R2. And I in each case is this 1.5 amps. And in each case we multiply by the resistance. So this first one is 20 volts, no I'm sorry, 20 ohms. And then the second one was 60 ohms. Those numbers were given in the problem there. And when we do 1.5 times 20, we get 30, and that's volts. And 1.5 amps times 60 ohms is 90 volts. And again, take note that the 30 volts and the 90 volts adds up to 120. And as before, we said that resistors in series, not only is the current the same, it's 1.5 amps in each case, but the voltages add up to the total.